So the question moving forward, what will life be like behind bars for Chris Watts? Let's bring in Larry Levine. He's director of Wall Street Prison Consultants, helps people make it through life behind bars. Larry himself served time in 11 different federal correctional facilities. So let's talk about uh, life for Chris Watts. What do you think? Well, let's put a clock on it. It's not a matter of if they're going to kill him, it's when. The other inmates will get to him, and they're going to have to hold him in close custody because you know when you get into a prison people hate informants rats they hate child molesters this guy killed his wife pregnant wife and his two kids so they're gonna have to watch him essentially forever he's not gonna have a normal life going into general population and someone in there is gonna take him out I mean he's got right now he's got to go down from the Weld County Jail to the Denver Diagnostic Center. It's over near the Denver County Jail. It's about 60 miles south of Weld County. He'll be classified when he gets there. Then they'll send him to one of the class five institutions in the state of Colorado. They don't, I believe they don't have the death penalty there. And they've got about 766 people that are serving life sentences. So he'll be joining them at one of the five level five prisons. But he's not going to have the same type of social experience that other inmates do. Remember, Mike, this guy doesn't have an out date. He has nothing to look forward to. And he's going to have a rough ride of it. You're going to have inmates essentially lining up to take this guy out. I've got people posting on my Facebook page, volunteering that if they could get in there, that they would kill the guy. I mean... Mm. He committed one of the most heinous crimes anyone could against his own family. And so what, it's not going to sit well with the inmate right. population. So what measures are taken to keep him safe, to keep him alive? Well, he'll go into essentially the special housing unit. In other words, they'll lock him down 23, 22 hours a day. He may get out to take a shower, maybe go to medical or something walk around inside of, they call it like a dog kennel, in a little fenced-in yard of his own, but they can't place him with the other inmates because he's a risk, he's a threat. He's, his life as he knows it is over. I give mm -hmm. the guy under a year. I wow. mean, let's take a look at, compare him to Whitey Bulger. Whitey made it through the system in general population essentially for a long time. He just happened to hit a yard where there was a hitman there and they got to him. Yeah. This guy won't make it into general population because Chris Watts, he's going to be a target for everybody. And life as he knows it is over. Even mm. being inside, he's going to have one. Of, let me look at Jeffrey Dahmer. They got to him. They yeah. will get to this guy. He's, mm. he's done. Well, Larry, always appreciate your unique insights. Larry Levine, appreciate it.